newborn to worry about. That's what upsets me. We should be worrying about her and her constipation and taking her to the pediatrician, not worrying about returning phone calls to family court. I know it's frustrating, but I have a custody agreement and I have to return phone calls to family court when they call. So I've put it off long enough and just have to see what they want. Don't get what they could be calling you about. You know, your ex-husband has his supervised visits set in stone twice a month. There should be no other communications involved. There's, there should be no bothering you with anything. Junior doesn't have any bruises on him. Everything's good, so I don't know what they could be calling you about. Okay, but weren't you the one who said having Charlotte changed life and she's our blessing and we should focus on her and that's what I want to do. Like, let the noise happen. Let everything else try to affect us but we have what we've always wanted we have happiness we have a happy relationship a baby i still have junior there's nothing to be upset about let them throw rocks at us it's not gonna hurt am i crazy for thinking that something could happen to her i'm just always in fear that your ex-husband is going to poison her formula or steal her in the middle of the night out of spite that's what I'm worried about all the time. And because I try to hide that, it comes out in other ways. I think a lot of that just stems from you being a dad. Just as a parent, you're gonna worry about your child. I became that way with Junior the second he was born. You worry about the world in a different way. You know, you can't avoid those thoughts. Of course I'm gonna worry about her as a father. That's normal, I expected that. What I didn't expect was to worry about child services randomly opening a case on us with her or something like that it's just everything in your life has given me these irrational fears around our baby not your fault it's just things that i'm working through okay, but you can't think like that we live in a world where anything could happen to either of us you know you just can't think negative if you live in that mind frame all the time you're going to worry about stepping out of the house but really your ex-husband touts that he's changing every day and trying to be a better man, this stuff, all those lies, but what's stopping him from just falsely calling child services on us or... I, I don't even know. I can't think like that man to come up with scenarios, but I just worry he's going to involve her in some way to get back at you and because he doesn't like me. Well, you have to believe in the laws, policies, it's just because someone makes a phone call against us or alleges something, you live through it with your allegations, you know? There's due process. You have to remember that. Yeah, you're right. I guess sometimes I just lose faith in the system. Just relax. I'm gonna call them back and see what they want. We were made aware via a complaint from your ex-husband that he has no way to contact his son via phone. He's putting in a request that he wants to contact Junior on occasion to hear his voice, keep in touch, and you have him blocked on your, your regular phone number, which we get, we understand why, uh, but now with the new uh, visitation rights given to him and the new agreement put in place, it's kind of like a fresh start, and we need a contact number from you to give to him so he can contact Junior on occasion. Okay, Ed's the agent who has covered us for like weeks and been close to this situation, I think you can understand why I wouldn't really be comfortable giving my ex-husband my new phone number or a way to contact me. I don't really want communication like that. As the agent who has been assigned to your case for however long, I understand the uh, feelings you might have towards that, but unfortunately, with the new uh, agreement put in place, um, there's nothing against him making phone calls and there's no rules against that. He does have a right to contact Junior in that way. Yeah, I guess that was an error on my part. I, I wasn't thinking of something like that, nor did I ever think Joey would pursue phone calls with Junior. My concern is what if it becomes a harassment thing where he starts to just call me at every hour of the day just to mess with my life. I have a newborn here. I, I know he's entitled to see his son, talk to his son, whatever. But he has a history of just abusing roles and everything in between. Yeah, so as of right now, that's more of a cross that bridge when we get to it moment. Um, right now, based off of phone call history and things like that, we don't have any reason to believe that he will do that in this very moment. If it, if it does get to that stage, you let us know. 
is there any way that I can change this in, in a way where he can't make those phone calls? Any new rules, any new stipulations, provisions would have to go through the court, which, as you mentioned, you have a newborn. I don't think that's in your best interest to do. If you're just asking my opinion here, I would just say go with the flow, see how it goes. Your ex-husband has been telling that he's trying to change things around, try to be a better human being. Let's hope that's correct. Uh, that's all I can say about that right now. So we're just going to need that number. All right. Thank you. I will send you the number for him to reach me. You gotta be kidding me.